We heard yesterday about Denise's award-winning weekend, her medal-winning weekend. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow, oh, yes. she's like Zola Bud. Yeah, Paula, <laughs> the Paula Radcliffe of the panel. Isn't she just? <laughs> so, Carl, you've got a lot to live up to. Oh. How, was, how was your weekend? Anything I... award-winning? Absolutely. Can really? I just start off by saying, I stayed up Saturday night till 6 in the morning. <laughs> Blimey. Were you unwell? I was out. And drinking and everything. Drinking? Yes. Well, what happened was I went to see Peter Kay at the MEN. Oh, but that was absolutely good. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. And more importantly, his support, who's Rick Astley, who you know everyone goes, oh, Rick Astley. I love Rick Astley. He yeah. was absolutely brilliant and he stormed it and Great he looks voice. and singing better than ever. Mm -hmm. And of course, my other half um, is playing guitar in his band, so that's oh, how he's there. Yes. Oh, Bless him. Ray and Rick. Did, Ray you know, and Rick. did you know Rick Astley and I covered the same song, Crimea River? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can't believe you still admit to that. Anyway, <laughs> and then we went out afterwards, and um, oh, it was brilliant. I had the best Where'd night. Where'd you go? Well, we went down um, Canal did you Street drink? in did Manchester. Did you properly drink a party? Yes, proper, like, oh, I'm slaughtered. I mean, not you, where I <laughs> ended up my bum and my breasts and all that. Well, you didn't have a proper night. For me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have to say, where'd you go? Canal Street. Canal Street. Yeah. Brilliant. I had the best night out. And um, I have to say, at about half past four in the morning, I thought, oh, God, my feet are killing me, and I'm desperate for a cup of tea. Oh, you see? And um, <laughs> I was the only one in this nightclub where they were all going mental dancing and all that, you know, and doing shots and all that. And the management got me a mug of tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the dance floor with me. <laughs> That's why I lasted till six. I should serve more tea. I'd you were teed up. Teed up. I always do that. Colin and I always do that. Don't we? Wherever we're out, all of us, Colin and I can be seen with a pot of tea at the end of the night and they're all yeah. comatose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, I have to say, I had a lovely weekend because it was my Uncle Ray's. Happy birthday, Uncle Ray. 80th birthday. And Aww. we had the most fantastic you know those family meetings you know where people you are all the do. same age yeah. Sherry, yeah. and there was the little <laughs> there was the little babies to the tiny tots to the you know the grandchildren mm. and the da 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 and and it was just fantastic to see everybody again because you know it's always once a year isn't it and it was so lovely and we danced and my uncle ray danced till i think it was 2 30 in the morning he was oh, fantastic oh, i mean ray. mom and her, mom and him jived and we all did it was just i mean my feet were killing me don't your feet hurt anyway but we had the most fantastic time and it was so lovely. but ollie my grandson ollie fell in love he met this little girl oh, and he held her hand and we couldn't get them apart. Oh. And then I put her in there like this, but totally in love with her and this little girl was in love. And then she went, I'm going home. <laughs> and he was going, oh! oh it's girl. Awful. It's hey, do you know what they have life. in my clubs now, which I think is a brilliant idea for us nanas, is they have like vending machine where you get little slippers out. Very feet there, <laughs> You get a little slip. Oh, please. no, do you know what? That's a brilliant idea, isn't it? Though they're five quid or something like yeah. that. I've, I've bought them fairy feet. Really? Yeah, fantastic idea. You know what? When sometimes, though, by the end of the night, you are literally walking oh. like a drunk because you can't walk. The balls Terrible. ache, don't I you? Actually, no, 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 you I actually, actually was some drunk. of us are a drunk, not yeah. walking like walking. nothing worse than <laughs> achy balls at the end of a night. Oh. Morning, a 22-year-old British woman, Benita Norris, reached the summit of her own Mount Everest. Now, her achievement was made all the more remarkable because she'd never set foot on a mountain until last year. Speaking from the base camp, she said, I was 17 when I first told my stepdad I was going to climb Everest one day. His response was, don't be so stupid. <laughs> no, cutting her down, eh? Now, that got us to thinking, does being told, don't be so stupid, spur us on to conquer our own personal Everests? Um, I think it does, because although I have um, major doubts about myself and I always think, oh, I won't be able to do this, the one thing that fires me up is some, somebody else telling me that I can't. Mm. And it happened a lot to me on Dancing on Ice when I was doing that. And just near the end, um, there was one routine we did and my partner, when we went into training that day, he said, I want her to do this neck spin where literally my ankle's around his neck, I don't hold on, he God. doesn't hold on, and he spins. Right. Well, of course, everyone fell about laughing. <laughs> and, um, you know, the, he, the physiotherapist was going, oh, no, 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 I've done enough with this girl because my arm was strapped up, my ribs were strapped up, there was nothing else left. But it was really, all of a sudden, like, we're laughing, and then I thought, they're actually saying I can't do this. And it really angered me. And, um, and we did it, and I was really proud of myself. But initially, oh. but it was the anger that got me 
to do that. It yeah. was somebody saying, no, you can't. You can't you're you're yeah. not good enough to do that. And I thought, no, I look at that picture. There it is. Oh, my it goodness. Is. Oh, can you believe that's you doing that? Are you sure that's you doing that? That is me doing that. Look at you. Look at him. It's not the same. That really is... <laughs> that really is divide and conquer, isn't it? God. Wow. I bet when you got home, Ray was going, I bet you can't do that, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, I can, just not with you. <laughs> Ever. Ever. I am. Um, Again. I, I, I suppose I have a little bit of that. I'm not hugely competitive. So obviously, if somebody said to me, you know, you could never swing from the high trapeze, I wouldn't go out and do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, but one of the things that I am going to do is because I've talked about Tim, Tim thinks he's the best driver in the world and that I'm the worst. And right. And whenever I'm in the car, this is where his little quote is like, keep it smooth, keep it smooth, keep it smooth. <laughs> He's like, shut up. Right. And years ago, he was doing a series called Commoners Mug. And he had to drive the bin wagon, so he had to get his, his heavy goods vehicle oh, license. Yeah. Well, you'd think it was like having a PhD after his name, like Tim Healy HGV, right? <laughs> so he's always said to me, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you wouldn't do that if you were an HGV driver. Oh, you know, like this. <laughs> so I booked in. And I'm gonna no. do I'm gonna do my heavy goods vehicle license test and I'm gonna pass it just because he said that. Good girl. Yeah. Really? Really? My goodness. I You'll see me you in, in between jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling at all the birds. <laughs> Chopper in Britain's going to be scared to pull into yeah, the nearest yeah, yeah. lay by now. <laughs> well, I'm but definitely going to pass it because you've just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I, I think I came up against a lot of that when I first started work um, in Fleet Street. It was a bit of a boys' club. Um, although I say that, all of the, all of the women, um, all of the people that kind of gave me opportunities and breaks at work were always women. But I came up against one guy in particular who was, was older than my dad, actually, who was, um, I don't know, he just, I don't know what his problem was with me. But... He literally blocked me every step of the way. And I think that, you know... Because you were young and pretty and blonde. But yeah. how, how is that a threat to him? I could never understand it. It's like, gosh, like, you know, you've got kids my age. Grow up. Mm. But it was really, really difficult mm. um, to, but did that to work along with you on? Totally. Yeah. Totally, totally, totally. I remember this guy uh, one day came up to uh, my desk and um, he said, did you write this? And held a story in front of me. And I said, yeah, I did, yeah. And I only just started, and he shredded it into small pieces, <gasps> and he threw it in my face. He said, "I won't tell you what he actually said because you can't repeat it at this time of day." Oh, and um, and I, I d was determined that he would not stop me progressing with my chosen profession, which was to be a journalist, which mm. you know gets a very bad name in this country. But I think fundamentally, if, if you want to use words to inform people, that's a great thing. And um, despite his best efforts, um, I did eventually leave, but um, to go and become an editor. And, yeah. um, Good for of you. A of, a, of a magazine, and, and, and I thought, right, I'm, you know what, I'm, I, I'm, I'm here despite you and in spite of you because mm. you haven't helped. Yeah. And it was, it was a really difficult lesson to learn in life, actually. But I'm, I'm thankful I came up against him, actually, because he taught me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Which is my, up here, my top difficult of the tree. lesson to learn was that I always wanted to be a singer. I always thought I was Judy Garland or Doris Day. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and still to this day, if somebody asked me to audition for South Pacific, I would go. <laughs> Because the thing is, I do think, really, seriously, that I am a singer. So, like, I mean, I went for one audition, and they said, have you got your music? And I went, what music? And they went, all right, then, well, what key? I went, which key? <laughs> Key on me and they went, oh, never mind, what can you sing? I said, I well, feel pretty. So I said, I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Look, and I thought I'd done really well. <laughs> and I must say that um, I sang with Sherry recently because we're doing this, do some in kind of England there song. There you are. And uh, they said, oh, can you do your, can you practice with Sherry? Honest to God, it was like 10 minutes next to Hilda Ogden. <laughs> still be Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's part one conquered.